Good day everyone and welcome back to Survival Chaos. If you like our content then please give a thumbs up and feel free to share us to, to your beloved ones. We are fighting with the newly reworked Lord of Race, which is going to be the first time ever. And we're going to be randoming Sword of Magic. I like that. Lord Ram, kind of strong early on. We definitely have to get some aggression facilitated because they will overpower us late game. Even if we have the Empowered Blizzard spell. And yeah. Evil Kieran is on the rise. This is hopefully going to be our second win in a row. If we die, we die. And we will be losing this series. Uh, we're up against Theory on Raw Village and Battle. Some highly experienced uh, players in Survive Chaos. And he's playing with the High Priest. So that's going to be very, very difficult. I'm not entirely certain how to raid and win for Lord Run. We'll lose this because we were fine facilitated here. But I think generally Enderwin is a decent hero. Although I don't think he should be an assassin. But the special unit, the elevator, is completely garbage as far as I know. <coughs> now we're not from 12. We might be struggling against his trolls early on if he is going for those juicy armor and healing magic upgrade. And I think it's clear for us to see that he is actually doing that already. So we've got to be extremely careful. Can we please kill some X units? It's gonna be really close. Four gold. Okay, I really want to get the early gold mine now possession. That's perfect. The enemies probably already know that we are playing with mana bones because you can see that the, the extra mana, 10% extra mana. No idea what Battles is going with. Same about uh, Rock Village. We should be careful that this guy is not gonna be going completely crazy. Get left three arm upgrades, healing magic, and then attack us there. <clears throat> Did he capture this gold mine? I guess that's a high possibility. He even bought X unit for that. That's definitely not worth because he would have captured it anyway. Because his wave should be over here. Rock Village also kept a neutral building, so he's also going for one of these side lanes. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I have a really bad feeling about this. I have a really bad feeling. I probably want to upgrade the middle lane. If he upgrades against me, then that's gonna be deadly, but we can be using a lot of uh, defense spells. But that's okay. We should be getting 25 more gold from this soon, but I don't think we are gonna get enough gold. Oh, he's also playing with mana bonus. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. That's absolutely scary. Blood else with mana bonus. So, yo, 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 yo. Let's go middle lane. We want to get the pressure on Patos. He decided to get that early tattoo unit here. So, he might be struggling a little bit financially. We might still throw down a defense spell. Right side, hopefully we can control the middle lane. I want to be very aggressive. Out of range. Very nasty. We should be able to kill them now. How did they survive? Hmm, okay. Maybe because of the match shield. Did they have it on? Okay. Trolls are tier 2 middle lane as well. So that can be a little bit tricky for us. So, especially since he got the healing magic up. It would be great if we could join him for that. There we go. Should also help out in the fight against the Citadel because they have plenty of heavy armor. <clears throat> I think we're gonna be losing this fight against them, especially with the Citadel backstabbing us. But hopefully, we can maintain possession here. We do have a strong army here, so I think we will. Keeping control of the gold mine is gonna be key to be beating up the trolls early on. Seems like nuclear winters in the menu. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta get the pressure on Rock Village. If he's gonna be 
reaching the end game potential of the UE Blood Elves with mana bonus. And he would be in perfect shape. Then there or there. And he's gonna be nuking everyone into oblivion. Let's get the healing up. Perfect. Ah, he went there too. That means we're gonna be losing control of the lane soon enough. I think healing coming a little bit too late to help us out on this lane. Hey, that was sus. Hey, the Jitter Minus. <coughs> yeah, Gush was a very strong and broken special unit. I'll be missing him in this fight, I'll tell you that. He's already winning this again. Ay, ay, ay. Also, is there. Not fun either. <coughs> yeah, we shouldn't struggle too much killing the Sirtut here, but he will be gaining a massive armor against the T1 Barracks from the Blood Elves. Then he will be. Um, backstabbing my mages. It's gonna be so great for the trolleys. What? Yeah. Might be feeling the trolls here a little bit. <clears throat> but let's get a lumb mill. Oh boy, we have a lumb mill. That's gonna be really good for us. Might be the most important neutral building we could have had in the game if we gonna be one against one against him. But I think we will have to look to our defense against Silitid in the late game. Yep, we're definitely gonna get a backstab there. If we get tier 3 barracks up, one level empowerment, we should be really strong. Chris Tech Raid, hold the line, extra armor. Mm. That's not bad at all. Yeah, I'd rather not upgrade at the moment, these guys will be tech me. I used to hit to in the middle lane. The trolls are killing him. Without any sweat. With ballistics, a nice little icon over there. Yeah, we can take two hits, that's fine. Uh, poor mage. I feel like I'm into some kind of medieval Sashi Troopers uh, base here. So scary. He upgraded! <clears throat> he took the uh, mines armor building. Oh no, it's extra armor for building. Sorry. I'm gonna go crazy get tier three middle lane, or will we go for the early blizzards? I mean, we should be winning here. We should be winning there. So we should be swimming the goal for a little while. Guess we can make the investment. <clears throat> will be a slightly risky one. Yeah. Okay. Let's go for the armor then. If we get an early rock and fall gen, then that would be annoying, but if we're tier 3, and th that here is only level 5, so then we still should be able to kill him with end win, I suppose. <coughs> but look how scary they are. Just armor and healing. At least we got plenty of healing ourselves. But we, I can really cannot wait for the Empower Blizzard against these spammy Silitids. No, we do not have too much AoE here either. Okay, an explosion will be great though. Would he send a assassin in the lane? <clears throat> really? Satura. Well, need to defend this. Well, need to defend the top. <clears throat> that would be extremely greedy. Oh my god, that's so risky. Since they only have two arrows, if both me and the Blood House would push out against him, then Satura would be quite doomed. Okay, I think we will go for level 2 castle, maybe get Antwin up here. Although I'm not entirely certain how well Antwin is gonna perform here against a level 7 Satura. But if Satura will be going deeper here, then it should be an easy picking for Antwin, I think. I could be wrong. If if anyone thinks that's a bad idea, then please let me know. Because after all, this is the first time we are playing with the rework faction of Lord Run. This stick will certainly be ours. Um, <coughs> Stir will be killing this wave just quickly enough, I believe. But since he went for that early hero, he's gonna be falling behind the upgrades. Come on, please get closer. Oh. <coughs> Not 
not close enough yet. We will have to be careful. Level 2. Chief all. Unsurprisingly. <clears throat> Got a good start, but Sutura is wrecking my fine start here so far. Major Kirator Apprentice should be good. What is this creepy, creepy water tentacle? Should go bring Zara. I don't know. Inspiration? Do the guys have inspiration? No attack rate. Um, what kind of? Um, Aura, would you guys suggest? Can we do this with Endwin? I'm not certain, but I will take the risk, I guess. I might regret it. I might regret it. He does have some good self healing. He's an assassin. Stirrus is an assassin. They will be fighting each other, and we have a decently big army backing and win up. Stura better not be going too deep here. Don't be going for Stura yet, please. Oh my god. He's going right for it. That's not good. I think we are losing him. By the way, if we lose him and then show the kills to our F-Bots, it might still be worth it. Yeah, this is the problem when you're playing with new races. He's weak, man. Yeah, okay, that wasn't definitely not worth it. He seems to free. He could be trying to take over with Rokan right now. <laughs> the Stura could be killing a troll hero here if there is one. We definitely want the empowerment up. Let's go. Moving mobilist spell. Yeah, this was definitely not good. Uh, maybe Daily would have defeated him. Maybe. But I'm just surprised with the um, with the quick loss here from him. I expect him to be staying around here for a little while again, level 5 or so before zooming into Satura. But at least now we know he will be attacking the other side on. Some assassins do it, some do not. Very interesting. But yeah, there's definitely a little bit of a problem to get rid of the silted ones. Well, let's go, Brins. All right, might have used it to it. Matter of fact, I'm pretty certain we do, but uh, the is not gonna come in at the right time. Let's just use it sideways at the till one spell there. At least we have to power it up. How's this guy? Probably still useless. I'm good at defeating waves. But we're making way more of a mess out of this game than we should really. I'll be using another defense spell here to kill those bear bears quickly. Gotta wake up, man. And we gotta wake up quickly before we are gonna be in too much trouble here. Come on, Maze re up. Probably want the arcane shield, should be a good one. To wrap. Not to. How are we losing this? Come on, man. We got a much bigger army. more than enough damage. I mean, we should be fine as long as we're not gonna take critical damage here. Really? So this is exactly what we cannot have. 
But that Edwin really got us in a tricky position here. Just to block and reflect. Let's go for it. The potion hour will be good. It's not gonna live here forever. <sighs> but this is one of the worst starts ever we had with um, the faction of Lord Ron. I'll tell you that. So uh, we'll definitely be going deeper here. Oh, but reinforcements are inbound. It might enable me to get some throws in the lane again. Should be fine here. We should be fine there. Um, we already got one level storage stone. We got the brains Ara, so we should be rebuilding our. Oh my God, she's going back. Jesus. <clears throat> Maybe we should be flapping our enemies. Remages might still die to Satura here. Can be creepy. Let's go. My church is the field. Normally he's the last hero I would send in lane, but he's tank. He can tank decently well. And he does have the clap. I'd be surprised if he dies here. But you never know, man. If we lose another hero, we essentially have doomed ourselves. Scarum. Oh, that clap did not hit Stura. Look at that. Oh my. Even Scarum mid lane. What the hell? Means he will have no heroes to defend his base. Should go tier 3 here. Could be smart to go tier 3 against him. Then again. Oh man, that. I'm feeling bucked. This turn never works out for me. He's doing. He went tier 3. That's an answer to tier 3. I feel embarrassed, man. I feel embarrassed. Not that I said why I was struggling. Of course, I knew it was risky. But not being able to deal 500 damage with a clap that deals 200 damage with the blizzard spell that deals like 110 damage or so. And we got twice. <coughs> Maybe we can allow him to struggle here. But we're being way too messy. We have not lost yet. We have not lost yet. But we wasted 2000 gold, essentially. And Trolls might be killing two sensitive heroes quickly. On top of that. Lovely stuff. Let's get the, the Fortune Aura. It's 4 4. We've got the 4 4. Yeah, having the extra blizzard spell there is gonna be wonderful. Arcane Implosion would be a great one, I would s assume. If more AoE against him. <laughs> We're playing such a horrible game. At least we do have a bonus that can carry us uh, in the late game. Might be sending you to that. I think Sutura pushed through it because we saw the voodoo spirits from uh, Rock Rockham. Sutura has to be summoned. Unlikely to be summoned here. 
Six two. I like this the sister here as well. How the hell is this guy so aggressive on the middle lane with a double hero? <laughs> he's swimming in the gold, that's for sure, but he's gonna be killing Rokan quickly. Otherwise Karen might have struggled. But he needs to unlock the special ones quickly, otherwise he might be struggling on the side lanes. Should we go for the first paladin? Where mages might be annoying for him to deal with. Like tricky for redirection. But I'll set this builders of fire. But he will be getting a lot of special ones out there soon. Look this, we are winning against the trolls. That's perfect. <clears throat> but every hero that can deal a lot of AoE. Working nicely. I don't waste my magic on just any <clears throat> I come. Come on, you shockwave! Kill those pesky bugs! Good stack raid, critical strike will be good. Look at this man! Actually better not be dying here. My research seems to be not bad at all. Needs to be first mid lane. We should survive that. Should we go for another defend? To build up much bigger backlines. Could be worth it. Let's go Masery first. <laughs> Whether we like it or not. We have to realize that in this game we're not gonna be dominating at all. We need to be smart. That's surprising. That's really surprising. That means the Blood Elves will not get too much pressure from him. So the Blood Elves can totally focus on Silitid. That means he could be having a lot of high um, mana as well. That's really surprising. So let's mainly Strike look to our defenses. For the Sindora. Could try and win mid lane now. Let's only special unit. <coughs> if he sent to us, we could go for a smite. It would be aggressive to get a special unit out here though. So most likely go top or mid lane. Oh my god. Uh, we're playing this a little bit too messy. At least this guy might be getting sandwiched. Look at the damage, man. Jesus. Back lore. Alright, what should we do? <coughs> Critical strike should be useful when it comes to dealing damage. Just uh, here was a special unit. Papatus is getting away with this game. We will even level up his specials already. Maybe it was safe to go so out for the mid lane with the Blood Elves since they are not too powerful early on. Man oh my man. This is going to be very scary indeed. Trolls can survive for a long time but he might have to go for the Mana Shield. Seems like Satura and Scarum died. Anthony actually did the best so far for us. Some rough. Scarum, definitely not the worst one to deal with. But he's very tanky and he should be able to tank us here. But I really want to see the research. And see why we're struggling so much with this guy. He's 6 5 now. You are tier 3, okay, that's a good place for you to right thing. And even has to deal with him. Using tier 2 spell as well. Should be enough for him. Let's get rid of Rokan. 
This special unit probably going top. Anthony will die. Can also use uh, Anthony here. But hopefully, and I truly mean it, hopefully Yuta can survive here for a long time. Contact real slowly. Hopefully we can kill those bears quickly. Don't be a pain to deal with those high priests though. But 25 minutes in the game, since it already going for two specials in the game. We are leading research, but we are not capable of making fists against this guy whatsoever. That's really scary, to be honest. Let's go for the storage zone. Probably want to use a defense spell here. Because Endwind is going to be in pain. This guy's not going to leave here at all. Oh, this way spawning is such a bad time for us. <sighs> we got to be really smart. Yeah, I guess Jane does no longer give armor to special unit. They made it incredible before. Come on, Antwin. Uh, I'm not certain how Antwin, how tanky he truly is, but... This looks a little bit bloody for Antwin. Now if he deals the final blow, he will be healing up, I believe. Come on, feel good crits, please. Look at all those filthy bucks, man. I could get the empowerment up again. Thank you. Battlefield glory. I do like that. You to be real slowly. That's perfect. That means he's gonna level up greatly. Let's get this up. Empowerment. Resurrection. Might have to deal with a special unit soon. So yeah, essentially getting you to the level 50 or so is gonna help us out because the elevator is complete trash. Hello there into I guess he into was summoned to defend the special unit. Um Pecky Lash, yeah. And then still went middle late somehow. Probably not ideal for the blood elves. Oh, we definitely should not underestimate the power of the Blood Elf with the mana bonus. If that guy can keep up with the Silitid, who's leading greatly, of course. Then he is gonna be a massive threat with the ultimate weapons. I'm not even sure if we send Anthony right now, whether he's gonna kill him or not. So I think we should risk this. If we we'll take the kill, then that would be great for us financially. We have uh, essentially free hero middle lane. But if we would die, then that would be super super bad. Will he send this next special to us? I also need to be prepared for that. Otherwise we might go for the elevator middle lane. I mean he might be level 16, but 3000 health. Scare him? Lash. Okay. So I'm gonna be in trouble. Let's get the resurrection up. No elevator here then. And when ah, he's and when might still be doing a little bit of damage here. His tank is gonna be 75%, I believe, or something like that. These are not gonna be completely crazy. Let's not forget we're also tattoo on this side. 
Can't say stay free. No hero from Tyrael. That's good news for us. This will also heal up the Chilin Salt. And when finally doing this job, should we send Edwin mid lane? Try to kill this guy. Imagine him instantly sending Pekko bottom to join Pekko Nash then. Now let's give it a try. And if it's not gonna work out, then so be it. Now we have at least tried. Oh, he was the foot top. Could be a big mistake. Could be. But we need to level up our heroes. Get some control somewhere on this battlefield. And he, he, he does attack here straight on. So we should do the same for uh, against special drive. And he should be able to heal up once he kills him. Thank you! Let's appreciate it. I think Uter and Elevator will be sent both here. A big restriction at least. Probably one level 6 fortifications. <sighs> no armor debuff. Yeah, this does not uh, help us for special units. But I really want to defend up first. Probably Arcane Explosion, Critical Strike. Come take critical damage. He's even tier 4. That's a bit mean. We should be fine. We should be fine. Okay, we can kill so that we can send Anthony at the right moment to the right side. We're still having a little bit of fun over there. We might be using one more whirlwind. But look at the elevator man. He's just casually dying here. He will survive. But that looked really bad for him man. Look at the health. We will probably deal with another special unit. Maybe we should go tier 4 here. I don't waste my magic on Tier 3 should be useful for Anthony. Oh no, no, we went tier 4 here. But yeah, tier 3 would be useful to get the extra powerful mages. But maybe we should just wait for that. Maybe we should wait. And we're not ready to die. Jesus. I don't mind going a little bit easy on the trolls. But this guy can focus the top a little bit more. He's not my enemy. He should survive against him. He might be getting some special wounds because of that. But now we can most focus here. Um, we will keep upgrading the castle. If we can, we will go tier 4 here as well. Should be good for us financially. And yeah, him being tier 3 against us will not be as worth it as he would be tier 4. But that also means a little bit less pressure. So I don't think we want to force this fight at all. Research wise we might be falling behind. Could be trolls. Fog lightning. That could make us lose this fight. Let's just slightly help out Anthony there. We can't afford to lose him in such a fight. <coughs> yeah, he will definitely send me a special unit. It could be worth save up a little bit of coin. But if it's gonna be a pain, we can always consider smiting guy. Oh! Did he send too early? No, he didn't. Oh, look at that blizzard spell, man. The Uter and the Infinity Fuller might actually be dealing a little bit of pain here. 
I mean, he's as good as dead. But the Pewter will be blocking the damage for a little while. We could at least bring him to half life. I think we actually have to go tier 3 to save Anthony. That's disgusting. He's not even getting half life. Spiky. Let's stay free, otherwise this is gonna be a real problem in my base. And we have to save up our gold greatly. If get used to to defend that, I definitely will. It's gonna be a big wave. <sighs> he's with a uh, cable of nuking enemies soon. But if he's gonna go nuking, we will be losing it against two mana bones wielders. I think Edwin is gonna be available, but it's not gonna be enough, and we will definitely not get gold for the elevator. Might be even low on the gold, not the Trossa. Yeah, maybe because we have to against him. It's been shown it cannot be summoned here. It has not been 11 minutes ago. I think getting good from here might be the better option. It's gonna be tricky to get the redirection done. Look at all these grubbies. The Grey Bliss is killing most of my force instantly, man. Countess, middle lane, lovely stuff. Which of my ears is dying here? Ah, oh, neither. Well, and win will. Oh no! It's with the dead taking the hit. Maybe I will send the elevator middle lane. We can send the next two here against the next special because I assume we will get the middle unit against the next. This could be the only moment we have to actually level up the elevator. And I don't think it will be any threat to Rock Village. These guys need to duke it out together. And we need to stay in the shadows. And if they killed each other or hurt each other, we should take the win. If we can. At least we will have to try. Because we will not overpower these guys with pure might. But the Sith and the Blood Elves are definitely working to each other. Our allies, hero has fallen. We need a hero here. Potentially, I would say. Well, we're a bot, four killed. <laughs> oh, we're doing such a horrible job there. I'm not even surprised about it. Especially with the way we started. 8 8 against our 6 6. Don't need the steel armor up. Need to be careful there. This should at least give us a little bit of gold right now, so hopefully we can really start upgrading at the towers. Maybe we should go tier 4 here. You do not look too good. If we would die, you would be a really, really good answer here. Anthony from here is possible, but we probably want Anthony to deal with the massive Citadel waves. Let's 
Tura should be decent enough there for him. Like I said, we can assume that the special will be summoned there instead. Upgrade complete. I'm on the Come, job. Little one. There we go. Let's get the mage in there for the extra blitz spells, resurrections. Let's try to kill his backline. We we'll definitely need to save up our gold. Fagin Lash should be fine here, realistically. Man, oh man, man, even with Tiffle, we're struggling. So much pain, man. Yeah, I know the Sith at last will enjoy this. But we can't consider the start of my uh, smiting the guy forever. <coughs> I'll wait for the lane. But like I said, he's not gonna leave that place for the wall. Let's get one Syria what's up. Need double hero here again. We can send Uter in front of it. And the Antonites can stay behind. Okay, we get some extra damage up. <laughs> we haven't talked about easy defense. <laughs> we said that there is no easy defense, my friend. I mean, you could be using the spin to win here on my base. It's just gonna be absolutely carnage. I would love to get these upgrades up as well, so that we can more often use defense spells, because look at this, and look at my FPS, we are playing on the low settings. Yeah, I definitely need to get some cool uh, kind of crazy fund race here, man. Alright, that could make it easier for the Senator to start looking in. I assume Blood Elves did it because he's struggling to keep up the Sinted army. Uther, what's going on? Anthony is definitely not the one we want to tank this. What is he sending? Yours in. Could be worse. Man, let's not forget the trolls can also win this game. He's just casually chilling in his base. Anthony still died there. Oh my god. Sometimes the aggro on this game is unbelievable. The elevator might be dying there soon enough. Let's get out more weapon and leave stuff. If we get some excellent damage here next time. Then we can... Oh, ho, ho, yours might be dead here. Then we can actually defend with a spell shield. Emergency repairs, whatever. Get the poison armor up again. Probably want this to level 3. Dense block reflect would be amazing. Spikeman. Yeah, extra damage would be lovely. Perfect shape. <coughs> Not so perfect shape. Low mana. But yeah, full mana there. That that's absolutely crazy. Maybe you will still survive this. The raw power flows through me. Blood is not getting so much gold thanks to the elevator, but at least he will die soon and he's gonna be level 18. So it's gonna be at least somewhat useful to deal with special units soon. Find the upgrading stuff, man. Oh, what should we do? He's smiting, so yeah, it's not gonna be a challenge for us when it comes to nukes. If we nuke him there, he will definitely retaliate there. 
which could give the game the raw. Wilson will survive it. That's crazy. I don't like those beetles. They've been a true pain in the ass for us all game. Our leading research, I'm pretty certain. Yeah. Only by two. And there could be some there. But I think we will have to save up gold, so. I want to go for this, but I think we will have to wait for that a little bit longer. Because special will be coming out. It's definitely gonna be getting a few hits. So gold, we should be a little bit closer again. Pretty sure this guy will survive, but we're hurting him. 20% chance on the critical strike. Makes dealing with those specials even easier for us. It being a real pain death to Fecking Lash. That's perfect. Can't send the elevator here. If we would smite the elevator. We got a free card to start nuking. And the right side might actually be best. We could take out yours in. But we have to be careful with this massive wave. I don't think anyone will have an easy time to defeat a wave like this. Although Endwin can be sent right uh, left side. Um, I will probably send Endwin. And the elevator together. So let's just go for the Grand Magus. Although the mollusks have stopped hunting away in my barracks. I feel like that's exactly what they wanted to do there. But with those reinforcement lane, we should be fine, I think. This thing with my units, I don't like that at all. City fits are pushed through. Into. And he has to be careful because he is able to smite him. Man, oh man, man. What a pain this game had to become. These guys are so fast. Stay away from my barracks with your filthy spin to win. Let's get this one out. Finally! What running? More attack rate? Yes, please. You know what? After all the mess we made, we're still alive. Scarum Stura. So I guess he wants to keep the special into for us. That could be ugly if he sends both. Maybe he wants to force me to smite as well. Let's get the deflection level 3. And I think this will be a great moment for us to actually start saving up a little bit of coin. Not spike there. Yeah, he will keep sending him spike, that's for sure. He needs to get rid of this barrack somehow. And Ralph really wants to keep sending special units there. But as long as he has full mana, we should be careful with the things we do. Let's get one mana well up. Shouldn't be the worst. And I think we <clears throat> might have to just start nuking this guy. <sighs> yeah, 
Yeah, let's go for one armor. No spike here for us. Might have deal with a cannon If the Tiro dies, then that might be really bad for us. Hopefully, you will defend as well. And I most certainly assume he will. You will need one special from here, maybe the other one from there. Stura, okay. Yeah, I think Stura and Peklo will defeat the elevated with ease. We don't even have army there. Anthony being a very annoying place there, but I think Tiro's gonna be fine. Those trolls are... With the high priests are no pushovers. I think we will deal some great damage, but I think we should be happy if we can get him to half-life already. Stir is gonna be paying for my heroes. <coughs> Not into there. I mean, that was bound to happen. If he got his heroes from here... But Stir will be alive, then we scan from there. Look at him die. <coughs> Second, once again, is going to be fine. Yeah, Spike's not even gonna be the worst thing. With the Blood Rage, the Blood does deal so much damage to special units. Oh dear, we might need our heroes from here. 40 seconds. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be really, really close. Kevin, yeah, I'm pretty sure that we are dying. <laughs> this is it's a so powerful late game, especially with three different uh, poison abilities. This way we'll be finding a really bad spot for us. We can use that tit on the troll sadly enough. Yeah, you two might be able to block it. some damage there. Strike them down for the Sindora! Please snipe down Stura ASAP before he kill he kills Yuta. Then we might also have the gold for Anwin on the right side. I think that was the best option to deal with this. The, I do not want the elevator to go right side. Jesus, that was close. <laughs> Let's get the sword stone up. Ooh, we mentioned that easily well. But that scared me. That really, really did scare me. <laughs> Let's do this enemy army further. Uh, so the enemy did not kill that hero. But then again, it's fine. Was he smite? He's not doing it. <laughs> he is doing it. <laughs> oh look. Yeah, Butters is playing an incredible game with the synth there. Get a potion again. <clears throat> Let's get the clips right. We're gonna get another special in the north base. Oh man, what can we do? I'll be honest, if we're gonna be losing this and end our journey as evil Kyrian, then it has been a worth fight. We started off poorly. Went one here, summon 10 slain. And in the end, I think we really, really. Gave the enemies a hell of a fight. Oh, he messed up there. He messed up. We could be really annoying and smite Scarabot, but then he can't get him here. 
Osotura. And now he's gonna be in a tricky position. Because Mechanized is not gonna leave there for a little while. I think he can send Inter directly from there. But look at that. He used it too. But the elevator is just dying without killing any of those heroes. It's such a waste of gold, man. And essentially, he beats enemies a lot of gold as well. He does have a new right? yay. Because of this. Low run banner, I suppose. But look at that! Oh man, if one we need him from here. That's so ugly. The raw power flows through me. Will he save in two for here? That would be surprising, because this was a perfect mode for raw pillage. It really hurt, but was Getting our special from here, that's gonna be so difficult because he's ranged. There's a high likeness of him even going mid lane. Also, because they only have tier 4 melee units, not seat. And 6 on range to get on the left side reliably. Ooh. I think it would be too risky. But Edwin die right moments. I don't think he will, to be honest. He's definitely going there, right? Into surprising. I'm gonna risk it, I'm gonna risk it. If we can't get to kill these filthy beasts somehow, we'll soon lose this anyway. Satura still quick on the left side. Let's get all these knights in there. Next wave is probably gonna arrive a little bit too late for us. Look at that man. Ay, 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 ay. And he might go right side or middle lane as we feared. This was strong enough here, right? I'm not so certain, but we are strong enough there. Look at the damage we took care of the castle. Getting within triple loop range. Cannot take any more hits here. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. I'll tell you that. <coughs> Let's send him. Let's use this, otherwise we will take glorious damage, I think. Also because we are losing the left side here. <coughs> and it's, it's still gonna be re, uh, refill quickly. Elevator will be up to use there. Into... Pekinesh might be killing the trolls. What's all the mana? Without trolls, he could be pushed through middle lane. Well, let's forget he has level 8 fortifications and a lot of regeneration in the buildings. Spike could go middle lane here. The rest be careful because he cannot redirect Fact Nash away from this barracks. And he's going for the Blood Elves. Yeah, that, that's gonna be painful for him.
Look at this, man. My army is utterly useless. Even with mana bones against the Silitid. We need to work together with Rob, but that's... Ah, he's able to defend up with Aero. Even if we would send him all of our nukes, he's gonna be able to unnook us. Which should be going left side. Doesn't need double hero to even counter stack this guy. Anthony shouldn't be the worst for him. Spikes can be scary for Rob. He could smite him. Especially with just uh, Scarum incoming to him. But what should we do, guys? Should we sacrifice ourselves by nuking the guy? I don't think we should. It's not the hero we would like to face. Hold your dice. But we did not even slay him. Of course, Surge killed him with all of his poison. Just you are, we are playing with mana bonus. Strike them down for the sin god. Because if we're gonna be smiting him, we're gonna give him a free pass to start looking us. We need to cancel those upgrades. I don't think the elevator will die at the right moment. So yeah, I think this is a good move for uh, the... Um, Siltit. Like I said, the smite will be an answer, but then he will look us down. Yeah, definitely not feeling strong with Lord Run. That's a fact. Wish we could be hitting some trolls with that as well. As well, we need to get as many as we can because these guys are gonna be healing uh, each other. And yes, trolls will be coming soon. Elevator better be dying, but he's not. Can shoot the guy. Yeah, we can shoot him. But <laughs> it's not gonna be enough. And then this guy will hit us with a very annoying wave. We have no heroes to defend it. Look, Anthony, man. Anthony, the wise one. FPS getting too much for me here. <coughs> Is he looking here? He is looking there. F yeah, we couldn't defend this anymore with the FPS. We will probably lose the towers. Yeah, we cannot do it. This is pissing me off so much. Not that we're losing this. That's fine. I mean, that's completely fine. But the fact we cannot even defend anymore. Maybe, yeah, if we smite him, we would be in bad shape. Oh, 
Ah, uh, too late. I'm okay. It's fine. <clears throat> For the dark spear tribe. I mean, if we smite him, he would serve double nuke us. And then us. And until the end. We were okay defending, but the game just became unplayable. I mean, Patos played an amazing game. I mean, he will win it by nuking him down. Um, Trolls could try to work along, but that's not gonna be meta anyway so it's a, it's a really great win by the um certain <clears throat> but i mean if we're able to defend ourselves we might have been okay there still because we would have been able to get the special units might have lost the barracks we might have lost the barracks but I think it would be fine. And Irvin, I'll be honest, man. I know you're watching a lot of Survival Chaos content. Not just from me, but from uh, a lot of people. But your comments are sometimes really annoying, man. We had a lot of issues financially. And that's because we screwed up the early game. And that was... There wasn't us. But always the blabbering with It annoys me. I don't even uh, smile about such jokes, but oh well, <laughs> it is what it is. Um, but for the game, yeah, I think we said that really deserved to win that. He played amazing from start to finish. Not entirely certain what happened with the trolls at the top, but that really um, gave more pressure to the Citadel thing. Although the Blood Oils probably had to deal with a lot of spikes because of that uh, top barrier from trolls being destroyed. But still. Yeah, Silted, when they reach the mid-game, end-game, they're gonna be so powerful and we had no chance of fighting them. As especially more so because his early game was better than ours. And I don't even know what kind of bones he played with. <laughs> but yeah, Lord Run seemed a little bit on the weak side to me. I mean, the elevator was utterly, utterly useless. And that's shame, that's shame. Because I remember the elevator from the Rogue and that was an incredible special unit. Often really painful to deal with, especially combined with Clint and Medivh. Some of my best memories there. But, yeah. Maybe we should have stopped nuking earlier, but then we probably still would have given the game to the Citadel with the level 8 fortifications and the regeneration. Of course, he could have. Uh, we could have nuked him before he had the level 8 fortifications. But then we. Um. But then he still probably would have been able to outlook me or use the special units. So I don't think we could have done anything to win it. Especially not since we kind of fed the Sid early on. <laughs> Overall, once again, well deserved victory for him.